welcome to our youtube channel art design basics today in this lecture we are going to study about the simplification of boolean expression using k maps what is k map it is a method of simplifying the boolean expression and k map is a graph composed of adjacent cells and each cell here represents a combination of variable in sum of product form or product of sum form now we will see the rules uh, required to solve the k-map problems first of all we need to draw the k-maps the uh, adjacent cells in k-map will differ by one bit and then uh, we do the grouping of adjacent cells containing ones these groups can be of two four eight or sixteen number of cells opposite and corner cells can be grouped and we always use maximum possible larger groups all the cells containing one must be covered in at least one group at the time of grouping don't care values can be taken as one or can be neglected depending on the grouping needs and all don't care values need not to covered in groups so these are the rules and we will understand the procedure using examples so let us see the examples when number of variable is 2 we need 4 cell k map and when number of variable is 3 we need 8 cell k map and when number of variable is 4 we need 16 cell k map let us draw the k map for 2, 3, and 4 variables. So, first I am drawing the k map for 2 variables. Here, variables are a and b, and this a and b bet can be vary as 0 and 1. a and b can take values 0 and 1. Now, I am drawing the uh, k map for 3 variables. I have taken variables a, b, and c and a can take values 0 1 and bc can take values 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 here uh, we write uh, 1 1 after 0 1 because adjacent cells can differ only by one bit now we will draw k map for four variables so it will contain 16 uh, adjacent cells and i have taken variables a b and c d so we'll write a b and c d here so a b can take values 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 and similarly c d can take values 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 so these are the k maps for 2 3 and 4 variables now we will do the numbering here combination of 0 and 1 at the left side and the uh, top side it gives the gray code and decimal equivalent of gray code gives the cell number so we write 0 1 2 3 these are the cell numbers similarly here 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 see carefully the 16 cell numbering 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 so we can say here cell numbers are decimal equivalent of gray code of the cells now we will see simplification of boolean expression of uh, two variables using k map suppose a function is given as function of a b equals to summation of mean terms of 0 1 and 3 so for two variables we need a k map of four cells so we will draw the k map of four cells here write one in cell number 0 1 and 3 0 1 2 3 are the cell numbers here and one is present in cell number 0 1 and 3 now we will do the grouping so these two upper cells can be grouped together we will group it and these two side cells can be grouped together so group these two cells 
this group of cells are called prime implicants so there are two prime implicants here we say it prime implicant or pi there is another term essential prime implicant uh, this is a group having one uh, which is not shared by any other group so these two groups are having at least one one which are not shared so this is uh, essential prime implicant prime implicant as well as essential prime implicant now we can write the simplified function as function of a b for writing the simplified function we need to see the uh, left side of the group as well as top side of the group so we need to see the left uh, a is zero here so we will write a bar zero for a bar and at the top b is changing zero and one so we will not write anything since it is changing we will follow the same procedure for the second group and we see the left side a is changing to 0 and 1 and uh, b is constant that is 1 so we will write here b 1 for b this is the simplified expression now we will see the kmap solution for three variable boolean expression suppose we have a function of three variables a b and c given as this so since there are three variables we need to draw the k map with eight cells we'll write the variables and the 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 for first term uh, 0 0 0 is a bar b bar c bar so write 1 here for second term a bar b c bar 0 1 0 1 a bar b c that means 0 1 1 and a b c bar that means 1 1 0 now for grouping group these two ones together and another group for these two ones and another group for third group for this corner ones so opposite corner one and one now we will write the simplified expression for this k map f equals to for this group left side a is zero so a bar and at the top b is not changing so we'll write b plus for the second group a is changing 0 1 and bc is not changing 1 0 so we'll write bc bar for corner group a is not changing so we will write a bar for 0 plus a bar and b is uh, changing and c bar is not changing so we will write a bar c bar so this is the simplified expression now we will see a four variable example we will take a function here suppose f of a b c d is given as summation of main terms 0 1 2 3 5 7 8 9 10 12 and 13 so there are four variables so we need 16 cells We will write here A, B and C, D. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. So we will write the cell numbers. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4, 5, 6, 7. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 
13, 14 and 15. So where are ones? We will write the ones. 0, 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12 and 13. So this cell are having 1. Now we will group it. So group of 8 is not possible here. We will see. We will group of 16 is not possible. Group of 8 is not possible. Group of 4 is possible. So how many group of 4 is possible? This are 1, 1, 1, 1. So this can be grouped. This 4 can be grouped together. And we have three more ones left. We can see these are all corners. So these four corners can be grouped together. This and these two. So we will write the expression f equals to for this first group we will see the left side here a is not changing it is 0 and b is changing to 0 to 1 for this group so we will write a bar we'll write uh, we see the top so here uh, uh, 0 1 and 1 1 so 1 is not changing that means d is not changing so a bar d we will see the second group. This is the second group. So here 1, 1, 1, 0. So 1, 1 is not changing. A is not changing. That means A, B. So A, A is not changing. We will write A. And here 0, 0 and 0, 1. So 0 is not changing here. That means C is not changing. C bar. 0 means C bar. Another group is these four corners. So for this, these cells will be considered. So 0, 0, 1, 0. So here B is not changing, B bar. So we will write B bar. And these two cells will be considered. So 0, 0 and 1, 0. So this 0 is not changing. That means D bar is not changing. So B bar, D bar. So simplified expression for this Boolean expression is this one. A bar D plus A C bar plus B bar, D bar. Now we will see don't care case. So suppose we have a function given as F of A, B, C, D as sum of main terms 1, 4, 7, 10 and 13 plus don't care condition d of 2, 5, 14, 15 there are four variables so we need 16 cells k map let's draw it 16 cell k map we will write a b c d here and 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 We will write the numbers, cell number 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. 
now write the ones for this cells so for ones four seven ten and thirteen so here and write the don't care where is this don't care so don't care is two five fourteen and fifteen so these are the don't care now we will group it so group of eight is not possible or four corners are not possible group of four is possible here so we will consider this d as one because we need it to be one to group it as group of four so this will be one group now there are three more ones left so this one can be grouped with this d and this one can be grouped with this d here this one can be grouped with this d we can leave this d uh, we don't care uh, as it is we don't need to write anything for this one so simplified expression will be for the bigger cell this uh, four group of four cells so this um, zero one and one one so b is not changing so we will write b and here this g sorry this is one zero and one so here this d is not changing so we will write d plus for this group this is zero one that means a bar b and here this c bar is not changing c is zero zero that means c bar is not changing so you can write it as c bar for this group this zero zero and zero one so a bar is not changing so we'll write a bar and here zero one that means c bar d plus for this group this a is not changing a and here one zero that means c d bar so this is the simplified expression in don't care condition till now we have seen it in sop form that is sum of product form now we will see pos form so method for solving pos is opposite to the sop suppose we have a function given as phi of max terms 2 8 9 10 11 12 and 14 maximum number is 14 so we need 16 cells a b c d 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 0 0 cell numbers 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 so we write zero for this cells 2 we we'll write zero here 8 
11, 12, and 14. So group of 8 is not possible or 4 corners are not there. So group of 4 is possible here. Group it like this. Now for this it can be see here this 2 and this 2. So group of 4 is possible. We will group this two with this two and this zero with this opposite zero. We will write simplified expression as f equals to for the first group, this group of 8, 9, 10 and 11. This is constant. So we will write and here in POS form, uh, we need to write 1 as complement and 0 as variable. So 1 will be A bar and 0 will be B. So A bar plus B. All these 4 are changing. So we will not write anything for this. Second term will be, second group is this one. And this one. So 12, 14, 8, 10, 10. So for this 1, 1 and 1, 0. So 1 is not changing. That means A bar plus here 0, 0 and 1, 0. So uh, 0 is not changing. That means 0 means D. Now this 2. So here 1 0 is not changing and here 1 is not changing so for this 1 a bar and for this 1 0 we will write c bar plus d we need to remember 0 as variable and 1 as complement Suppose we need to change uh, POS form to SOP form or SOP form to POS form. So how we will do it? We will see it here. Suppose we have a function given as f of pi m 0, 1, 4 and 5. We know there is four. there are 4 variables. f of a, b, c, d we can write expression is given in POS form so we need to write four zeros at cell number 0 1 4 and 5 now we will group it this four can be grouped together and simplified function will be here a is not changing it is 0 that means a plus this c is not changing that is 0 that means c Suppose we need to change it into SOP form. So we write this function as sum of main terms and leaving all these cells, we write other cells other than these cells. That means 2, 3, 4, 5 is here. So 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. O, B, C, D, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. So except these four cells or everything is one here. How we will group it? Here group of eight is possible. This group of eight. And this is group of another eight. 
for this group, this one one and one zero. So a this one one is not changing. So we will write a. This is SOP form, so we will write uh, A for 1 and plus for this group, we can write this 1 is not changing, so C. So we can see these two are same. That means uh, for converting POS to SOP or SOP to POS, we simply write the remaining cells. Here I hope I have covered all the rules for KMAF solution and I hope it will help you. Thank you.